everybody, Cindy Otter here. How are you doing today? Um, welcome to 2021. Isn't it great to get last year behind us? I hope everybody feels that way, but um, hey, I'm back. Uh, if you're new to my channel, sorry I haven't been here. I had to take a little hiatus. I took about a six month break. Um, to be honest with you, I was videoed out. I was coronavirus out. I was, um, I just needed space and time just for me. But so now we're back. All right, this is going to be our first video of the year. And what I'm doing is I'm starting a new prompt um, journal pages. Uh, I have done the pick 10, which is where I started out. And then I did the pick eight. Um, and now we're going to do a, it's going to be a pick, hmm, let's see, make it six. Let's do a pick six, okay? And this is actually going to be pick and choose. So we're going to pick six cards. Now what you'll see when I get these, um, I don't have them completely finished yet. I need to put packing tape on them to make them smoother so that I can actually spread them out because right now they just kind of stay in clumps. But anyways, um, we're going to pick six. So here's one. There's one. I don't know what else is in here. Two. Let's try one on this pile. Let's say three. Let's say four, um, make it a five, and make it a six. All right, so we picked six of these cards. Now I'm going to show you what's on the other side, and this is where we have to choose. All right, so we've got our cards. I just want to set these aside. There we go. All right, they're over there. So here's our six cards. Now what we're going to do is when we turn these over, what you're going to see is you're going to see two prompts on each card. Okay, and I'll read them to you in a second. Upside down. All right, here's where the choosing comes in. So the first card I've got, draw flowers or draw trees. So I have to decide which one of those I'm going to do. I'm not sure yet. Use, text, use tissue paper for texture or use aluminum foil for texture. I can tell you I'm going to use tissue paper because I don't have any aluminum foil in here right now. So I'm going to start with use tissue paper. Use masking tape or washi tape. You know, if anybody knows, I love my washi tape. So even though it's upside down, it's okay. I'm going to use tissue paper and washi tape. It says use washi tape or use paper strips. So I'm going to have to add some paper strips to that. Newspaper or music paper. Oh, let's do some music paper. Pen and pencil, or use a pencil or use a pen. I'm going to be using pens. And draw flowers or draw trees. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do flowers. So here are my six prompts. I need to use tissue paper for texture, use washi tape, use uh, paper strips, use music paper, use pens, and draw flowers. Now, um, you can choose any one of these. Like I said, you can choose one off each card. You can also um, decide to, you know, what order you want them in. You don't have to do them in the order that you picked them. You can do them in whatever order you'd like. Honestly, I have no idea what mine's going to be, so I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> How's that? All right, let me, I've got a journal here. This is my journal that I'm going to use. Um, this is one that I started in the middle of last year, and it just, I just stopped, so that was the end of that. Um, some of you may recognize this. This was um, a page that I did trying to do art journaling in a different way. To be honest with you, let me widen out a little bit. Um, I wasn't thrilled with it. It's To me, it's way too pale. <laughs> I like color. <laughs> this is not color. <coughs> Pardon me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move on. I'm just going to find a random page in this journal. Let's just, there we go, that works. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let me get my supplies together and we'll come back and have some fun. All right, so I've gotten pretty much everything out that I need. Uh, the very first thing I'm gonna do, and I've started doing this recently, um, just because I wasn't making videos doesn't mean I wasn't arting. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I want to start protecting um, my spines a little bit better. Oh great, and that one's got one of my hairs in it. Okay, let's take that out. So I want to just use some masking tape on here um, just to protect my, like I said, my spines and my bindings a little bit. Um, this is gesso, just plain old white gesso. And we're going to 
protect our page with gesso. I'm going to get a couple things under here. I like to put these. These are actually just uh, mats, plastic mats from the dollar store. Um, I take them and then I just cut them up to whatever size I need. And they're great when you want to mess around on a page and you really don't want your stuff getting on the rest of your book. So I've chose to use a spatula. They call it a catalyst. Um, basically because I wanted a good, nice, thick coat of, of gesso on here. And using these, the gesso actually goes a long way. So we're going to do this. Um, it's going to take me a second to dry this. I am going to put it under a heat gun. Uh, and then I'm going to show you what I've got. Oh, need a little bit more. Perfect. Now you can still see the, the masking tape under here. I don't care. It's going to end up being going away because I'll end up putting a lot of color down. So no big deal. All right. Now I know this talks about texture, so some of these lines I'm just going to leave in here uh, because we are putting texture on the journal page today. So let me dry this up real quick. Find my right heat gun. This one I consider, the Ranger one, I consider my just light drying gun because it just really doesn't, you know, it doesn't have a whole ton of power. Um, this is this is the embossing gun, the Doris embossing gun, and I like using this because it does dry things a lot quicker. Now I don't care if this is 100% dry; it's not a problem. I'm going to work over it anyway. Just kind of get the main stuff in the back dry. All right, so now looking at my prompts, what have I got? I've got use paper strips and use music paper and use tissue paper. So I'm going to take these three out first, and I'm going to start working with these three. Um, this, believe it or not, is the only piece of music paper I could find right now. And this one says it's a lullaby for times, and this was when I was young. And I think when I was young is gonna is going to win. Now when it says use um, music paper, you can do whatever you want with it. You can rip it up and do it for texture. You can do whatever you like. I'm actually going to just start putting this stuff down. Um, this is actually matte medium. It's I found these little jars. Uh, let me see. I found these little jars. Aren't they cute? And I've been having a hard time getting uh, lids off some of my paints, my gessos, that kind of stuff. And these actually just, they have a little rubber and they slide off and they've got a big enough mouth on them so that I can get paintbrushes down in there. So I found those. This, this I thought was fabulous. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to put some music down. I am using matte medium um, just because, you know, this is a light paper. It doesn't really need a whole big glue piece or, a glue, you know, a real deep glue to hold it. So let's just put some down here. And again, this is random right now. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just thinking, yeah, I got to get some music paper on here, right? So give me a little bit of that matte medium and yeah, we're going to put some right here. Now, what else do we have? We have to use paper strips. Now, a sweet friend of mine um, knows I love paper strips. I just, there's something about them. And I just, I enjoy using them. So, um, she sent me a whole ton of paper strips. They're just scraps, scraps that she won't use. And I've decided I'm going to. So, you know what, I'm gonna take out some of the greens. Let's do some of the green scraps. It's so funny because if I get low, I'm like, um, do you have any more scraps? <laughs> She's like, I sure do. Next thing I know, I get a packet in the mail. <laughs> but I know, yes, I could use my own jelly print prints and cut them into strips and, you know, that kind of stuff. But you know, you know, it's so fun to use somebody else's colors and, and just styles. I just enjoy it. 
So again, not thinking, oops, I went this way, and just putting down some strips. There's those. Let me add another lighter color to it. So I'm basically working uh, two of these cards right now, and then I'm going to use my tissue paper for texture. So we will do that after I get these down. Just putting down strips. Love it. Oops, I'll cut the end of it later when it's all said and done. Let's do this. Let's put this right here. Actually, let's turn it around. I don't like that flat side. I like I like to see things torn. I'm not big on flat sides, but hey, you know, it is what it is. And we'll take this one right here. Hoping I'm keeping this book in the view. Let me know if it's not in view because let me tell you. <laughs> I've been looking at some of my old videos and I'm thinking, oh dear, how did they even watch them? I mean, that's just white. Let's take you. Alright, now because um, of the way this challenge is, this project, this whatever fun, uh, I'm not limiting you to these six cards. I want you to definitely do the six cards something on you know at least one of the prompts on each card but when it comes to things like this so for right now I have um, my paper strips I have my music paper down I need to use tissue draw flowers use a pen and use washi tape I need color on here so I'm definitely going to add some paint to it let's go ahead and do that I'm going to throw this over here out of the way and Let's throw some paint on this. What color are we going to use? Let's use some Dina Wakeley's. I like this uh, lime green. And I'm going to add, I want a light blue. Uh, what about turquoise? We're going to add some turquoise. And maybe a little darker blue. Uh, I like midnight, where is it? Ah, we'll use marine. All right, let me dry this real quick. I gotta get rid of one of these dryers here. So right now I have two of them on my desk and that's not gonna work. So yeah, while I was not on YouTube and not making videos, um, I did a bunch of art. I did a few things for me. Um, you know, I was just, I'd come in and play in my art journal and you know, not, not have to video it, it just makes it a lot more freeing. Um, I'm not saying that I don't like doing videos. I do, uh, but I was just burnt out. I'd been doing them for almost eight years straight, and I just needed some time off. So, I'm just trying to dry this up a little bit so I don't smudge too much of that glue and gesso anymore. Alright, so let's add some of these paints. I'm going to use my gesso spatula here. Just gonna put some dots on here, see what I can use. Some here, some there, some right in the middle. I'm gonna do some of this up here. And again, these are the Dina Wakely paints. Paints, I have to say, I absolutely love her colors. Um, I think my favorite is Midnight, uh, which is her really dark blue. I really enjoy that. This one is marine, so we're just gonna put this around the outsides a little bit. All right, so I still haven't used my tissue paper yet, but that's okay. So I've used my paper strips and my music paper, so I'm just gonna turn these over. All right, let's work on this. Now again, right now, I'm not thinking. I'm just putting down paint, just having fun with it. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not looking for a huge, you know, perfect page. That's, that's not me. It never will be. I like to play. So um, if you are watching my channel, don't expect perfect. Just expect play because that's what I'm going to do. I enjoy using paints. I love using, you know, color, definitely color. 
I have to get my color in there. Um, right now it looks crazy, doesn't it? That's okay. I don't care. Because right now it is what it is. Eventually it'll turn into a page. Just a matter of time. So again, I'm just going to kind of... And we got everything there. So let me dry this down really well. might not be perfect but that's okay now I've got to use tissue paper for texture I have chosen to use washi tape draw flowers and use a pen okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my washi tape um, if you don't know uh, I'm gonna tell you hi my name is Cindy and I'm a washi addict um, I can't tell you how many rolls I have but I can tell you I use them all the time. Oh, it says ready for the weekend. Oh, let's see, I've got this text here. I absolutely love this roll of washi tape. I got it from what's called the washi tape shop. See, it's just nothing but text. I love it. So we're gonna put some of that on. Let's see what else we have in here. Um, Paper clips? No. How about this? That works. A lot of my washi um, I'll either get from the washi tape shop or I will just, whenever I see it and I see rolls that I don't have, um, I will pick them up. I pretty much have never, I think once, I've duplicated one roll. But other than that, I've always gotten new washi. It's just, it's a thing for me. I love my washi. I like the fact that it just, you can add just a little bit of, I don't want to say depth, but flavor to your pages just by tearing off a piece of tape and putting it down. Now I know one of the complaints is, oh, washi doesn't work. You know, when I do use it in a different way where I need it to stick really well, I throw down a little tacky glue, a little Elmer's glue, a little, you know, a glue stick, whatever, just to keep it so that it does work well for me. Put that right there. Again, I'm not really thinking, I'm just kind of placing um, so you can see where my washi is. That's pretty much a little bit of everywhere. That was the one roll I wanted to use. This, I'm not sure I want the colors like this, so let's keep looking. Um, a lot of times I'll dump just dump this on my desk. I'm trying not to do that today. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. I have, this is just what I have on my desk. I have a bunch more in drawers behind me. Um, I have some in my in my bedroom which is I have a desk in there and I do a lot of journaling at night so I have washi in there this is just it looks like leaves it's just dark I kind of like that color so that's why I'm using it I don't care what's on it to me it's just another element of the page another piece of the page I got three things of washi. Or I'm sorry, two different washi. So I've used my washi tape. Um, I have to use my tissue paper for texture. Now, I believe it or not, <laughs> I gotta find some of this stuff. I know I have more tissue paper, but this I happen to see sticking sitting over there, and it has um, glitter on it from Christmas. So we're just going to we're gonna glue that down. Let me use this. I'm going to use my matte medium with my glue brush. I'm just going to kind of um, wrap it up, I guess you want to say. And then glue it down. And this texture is actually going to become some of my flowers. So I'm just widening it up, gluing it, putting a lot of matte medium on it, getting it down there.
I hope everybody has been doing okay. I know it's been a rough year for a lot of people. Um, you know, whether or not you've been affected, it's still, it's a rough year. I know there's a lot of, um, you know, I don't want to say, there's a lot of issues with everything that's going on in today's world. There's a lot of people that are having a hard time handling it. Um, I'm not one of those people uh, because there's nothing I can do to control it. So, you know, stay home, stay safe, do what you have to do, and go from there. So this one I want a little bit bigger. So we're actually going to make this bigger. I have to get more glue. Now, am I squishing these down? Yeah, but that's okay. It'll work. It's not quite as round, but that's okay. There we go. Now, I don't know if you've ever used, you know, tissue paper for different textures like this, but it's fun. Why not? Why not? Um, as far as me, we've been doing really well. Um, we pretty much isolate. I've had to go, you know, out of state a few times for, you know, matters that I just couldn't control. Um, but, you know, as always, we come back, we quarantine and, and do what you have to do. So, all right. I'm just throwing a little bit of this glue around just to make sure that washi does stay down and also to get it out of my brush. All right, let me dry this real quick. Um, I'm going to dry it up really good, and we'll be back. All right, so while that's drying a little bit more, it's it's almost dry, but I'm going to let it go some more. I'm going to take another strip of paper, and I'm just going to make me some stems. Again, I don't like flat edges, so I'm just tearing it down. Now this is going to be a big one, so we're going to put that one right there. Come on, get up under there. Hello, hello. Um, Health-wise, I've been doing okay. Still dealing with chronic pain, that's normal. Um, I did have to have a surgery on my hand, my left hand, which happened back in October, I think it was. Um, I actually had really bad carpal tunnel in my left hand and um, I had a pinched nerve and these two fingers were completely dead so they had to release it in my elbow. Let me tell you, if you ever have to have that done, don't let them tell you it's no big deal because the elbow oh, is painful. But it's done. My I can actually feel my fingers again, which is a good thing. Um, you know, I'd do it over again if I had to. So. But it took a little bit to to heal. Um, come on, get in there. There you go. I'm trying to do this with a dry brush. Uh, it took a little bit to heal. I still don't have all the strength back in my left hand that I had before, but that comes with time. It's not something that's going to come easy. Um, you know, I have to work at it. I actually have some, like a stress ball that I squeeze to make sure I can get get some strength. And the biggest thing is the thumb. Here's where I had the surgery. No big deal. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. Other than that, what else? Let's see. My puppy dog is fabulous. She's still a little stinker. Um, her name is Pucky. But she's a good girl. Right now she's mad at me because I actually had to shut my door because I wanted to record. And if I don't, you would hear click, 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 click. And then oof, oof, constantly. So, yeah. So I shut the door. So she's out hanging out with her daddy. I hope everybody's been well. Um, you know, I hope everything went well for you this last summer and fall. Again, I'm, I'm doing okay. You know? 
we deal with whatever we need to deal with and just move on. All right, I have used my tissue paper. I'm going to put that card away. So I still have draw flowers and use pens. <clears throat> As you can see, I've kind of had my flowers drawn for me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry really, really, really well. And then I'm actually going to start working on these flowers, drawing them, and see what we can do to make them just kind of off the page. All right, I'll be back if it's dry. All right, little word of advice. When you put these things in, make sure you have the next page. <laughs> Because if you don't, it looks like this. And that's all glue. Let me do this. All right. Where am I? Oh, baby wipes. Okay. So I'll just get some of that glue off my finger. All right. So now it says draw flowers. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have those help me draw some flowers. So we're going to put a middle in them. Just the middle. Am I doing anything crazy? No. No, I'm not going to do anything crazy today. And then we're going to do some outsides. I don't like that color. That's okay. We can cover it up with this other color. Now, one thing I will tell you that I'm doing a little bit different this year than what I've done in the past is I am going back to just playing, just having fun with my art supplies, just <clears throat> taking time to relax and love what I do. Now, have I done that in the past? I used to when I first started my channel, but... Um, I think the whole, I don't know, everything got in the way and it seemed like I had to do things at certain standards and you know, I wasn't comfortable with that. I was tired. I was tired of commitments. I was tired of, you know, um, just doing things everybody else's way. And you know what? I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm just doing it my way. And, you know, hopefully you enjoy it. If you don't, I apologize. Head on to another channel. Um, if you just want to be open and play and have fun, here we are. So that's my thoughts about this year and where I plan to go with my art. Um, I'm never going to be a professional artist. I have no desire to be. But I like playing in art supplies. I like playing with paper. I like playing with ink. Um, you know, I just, I enjoy to play. So you're not going to see perfectionism out of me. Don't expect to. Um, there's other people out there that do that. I'm not interested. <laughs> so I'm just going to have fun and just be. How's that sound? Sound good to you guys? Sounds good to me. I'm just going to kind of color this in a little bit. Not a whole lot. I'm, again, not perfection. I just want it to be free, loose. Um, you know, just enjoy playing. You know, are these going to look like flowers? Yeah, they'll resemble them. Does that mean that, you know, they have to be perfect? Nope. I should have done this first time instead of doing all those marks. These are pit pens. These, this is one of the very first art supplies I bought when I started um, playing, really playing in the art, are these pit pens. And I think there's only one of them that I've had to throw away so far. And that was probably eight years ago. So, you know, these are one heck of an investment. If you can get, get some yourself some pit pens, they're a lot of fun. Um, they are permanent once they dry, but before they dry, like here, you can actually blend them. All right, so see what I did? I actually blended it. I just put it on wet and then just put my finger through it. And they will blend. Um, today I'm just using them the way they are. 
I need. I need, I need, I need. I have to move these closer to me. <clears throat> just going to use my, my light green. Just kind of outline my stem here. Yeah, it's a big one. That's okay. It doesn't need to be little, all, you know, little stems all the time. I used to tell my dad when my granddaughter was born, she had huge feet. And I told my dad, I said, Dad, she's got huge feet. And he said to me, he goes, just a bigger foundation for her to stand on. And you know, that makes sense. <laughs> so let me just, I don't know what kind of flowers these are. So I'm just doing some random, you know, randomness. Just randomness. You can't see a lot of this, but that's okay. I know it's there. Ooh. There's icky on that brush. I'll have to redo some of that with a different... Ooh. I keep hitting this end of this brush. Where's my other one? So yeah, um, I'm not sure what else I can tell you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Um, you know, like I said, it's my year this year is all about play uh, and just having fun because you know that's really all that matters. So I drew my flowers and I used my pen. Now this is not done because what I want to do, let me move this glue, I don't need this right now. What I would like to do is I've got some inks over here that I want to use. Give me one second. Just trying to find my colors. This is one. This is a Bravery's glitter ink. And I thought it'd be really neat to take these. Let's see if this works or not. Let me see how bright it is. Okay. I'm just going to kind of give add some pinkish to them and then I will spread it around in that texture of the flower. Yeah, I'm going to spread it around by using just a little bit of water. A little too much water, but you know what? It's all good. Oops, wrong one. I like that. In a second, I'm going to clean up some of it around the outside. So, like I have some spray over here. Let's clean that up. I can hear somebody saying, what did you do that for? Because eh, I could. Why not? I mean, let's have fun with our supplies. Look at that. See that shimmery goodness? Can you see it shimmer? Good. Good stuff. All right. Okay, one more thing I want to do. Ooh, that's got to go in the water. I'm going to put this in the water because I need a new one. Now, because I can see, um, you know, it's really dark in the background, I want to lighten it up just a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with some paint, some of this um, Dina Wakely Lime. Maybe a little bit over here, some more here, a little bit over here. Now, I was going to use a spatula, but you know what? I'm just going to use my fingers. Because I think it needs it needs a little bit more of that brightness. Yeah, that's better. I 
like it better. To me, it was just a little too dark. And, you know, as you know, if you don't know, you'll find out I'm about color. I don't like darkness. Um, I enjoy, come on, playing with color. All right, now while that's wet, I am going to take, I want just the end of a pencil. Ugh. So this is just a Stabilo, but what I want it for is I'm just I'm not really writing I'm just kind of inscribing things although when I do them I'm actually thinking something <laughs> you know like that I would write um, but I'm not going to do that today so so far here's how we look um, I'm going to dry this up really quick and then we'll come back and see what kind of finishing touches we have to do on it all right, so I'm still not quite happy with this, so I'm just taking, this is just basic titanium white paint. With my sticker still stuck on the bottom. Actually, it looks like there's three stickers. Sorry, had to get those stickers off there. Um, this is just white paint, and I just want to throw in a little bit of white here and there. Again, just to, uh, you know, lighten things up just a touch here and there. Which is good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with white. I'm going to do what feels good, what feels right, what, um, you know, makes me happy. It's all about me. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just doing what I want to do. All right. So, what do we think? Right now, I'm loving it. Ah, come on. I'm trying to get a baby wipe out of my thing. So I get six of them. I like it. The last thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to dry it again and then I want to put some words on it and I think I'm going to put something you know to the effect of um, you know 2021 is basically new beginnings or a, a fresh start a fresh slate I don't know how you want to put it but to me it um, you know it just represents you know let's let's start this year and let's have a better year um, than we did last or the last one before that or you know every year behind so let me dry this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little saying right here and I'll be right back. So um, I have decided, and I've been using this so much for the last six months. A lot of times I wanna put something on a page to, to you know, I wanna put what I wanna say on a page, but honestly I don't like my own handwriting. Um, so what I'm going to do is I actually type them out on here and then I cut them out in separate words and just stick them on. And that way I can put my sentiment down. I can um, be authentically me, not using somebody else's words. I start with the last word first. The last word for, boy, I can't talk. And first of all, I apologize for that. Um, I do have fibromyalgia and that's part of the issue is you can't find words so I do apologize and if you do find them they don't come out right so all about uh, new beginnings oops oops yeah I just messed that up I just messed it up thankfully I don't think I pushed it down all the way I did not
Okay, so let me just move that up a little bit. I need this word in there. Yeah, so there's days that, you know, I'll, I'll sound like I'm either drunk or whatever, and it's, I'm really not. It's just the fibro. Let's see. I don't take any painkillers, nothing like that, so. And what I put on here is all about new beginnings because it is a new year. It's hopefully a better year. Um, it's a, for me, it's a new refreshment to who I am because I am going to do art the way I enjoy doing art. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. Uh, we're about done here. I'm going to go ahead. I'll make sure that these prompts are in the description box below. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this. All right. We'll see you again next time. Take care.